here we are discussing the public revenue the most important form of public revenue is tax and now we are going to discuss the details of a new tax composition that was gst or goods and service tax look at the screen these are the major taxes which was imposed by central and state governments but now these taxes were merged together on 1st july 2017 and uh, it is generally known as goods and services tax taxes are levied at different stages starting from production to final consumption of goods and services which means from the factory to the final consumer in each stage the tax is imposed on the value added hence tax is collected only on value addition the tax paid in the earlier stages need not be paid by the final consumer the trader whose turnover is more than 20 lakh he must register his institute with the gst there are three kinds of gsts central gst state gst and integrated gst the central and state government impose gst on goods and services traded within the state the tax imposed by the central government is known as central gst and the tax imposed by the state government is known as state gst these are collected jointly from the consumers and are shared equally by the center and state governments the gst on interstate trade is imposed and collected by the center government this is known as integrated gst so the central gst is the tax imposed by the central government and the state gst is the gst imposed by the state government and the integrated gst is the tax imposed by the central government on interstate trade the gst rates are generally arranged under four slabs as 5% 12% 18% and 28% which means the tax will be higher for the consumer products and it will be very lower for food products here is a gst bill and based on that bill try to answer the questions given near there is a gst council to control and recom give the recommendations for the gst union finance minister is the chairman of gst council and the members are union minister of state in charge of the finance and state finance ministers and they have the right to give such recommendations like taxes cess and surcharges that are to be merged into gst the goods and services that are to be brought under gst determining gst rates the time frame for including the excluded items into gst determining the tax exemption limit on the basis of the total turnover surcharge and cess are the two other sources of income to the government related with the tax surcharge is an additional tax on tax amount this is imposed for a certain period of time usually surcharge is imposed as a given percentage on the income tax which means the person who has more income to be paid more surcharges then cess is an additional tax for meeting some special purpose of the government cess is withdrawn 
once sufficient revenue is collected education says on income tax is an example and the table gives the details of the taxes imposed by the central state and local self governments thus we have already discussed the source of income from tax now let's turn to the non tax revenue look at the table there are five different kinds of non tax revenues they are fees fines and penalties grants interest and profit there may be some imbalance between this public revenue and public expenditure when expenditure increased government may take loans from other institutes or institutions or persons so the public debts are the loans taken by the government or the loans of the government is considered as public debt there are two kinds of public debts one internal debt second is external debt let's look at the screen then find the details of internal debt internal debt are the loans availed by the government from individuals and institutions within the country then external debts are the loans availed from foreign governments and international institutions here is a table which shows the internal and external debt of india from 2012 to 2017 which gives the detail that our internal debt is more than external debt so we should know what are the reasons behind the increase of such indian public debt these are the important reasons for the increase of public debt increased defense expenditure increase in population social welfare activities developmental activities and the interest to the loans taken by the government